Welcome back to part two of the thrift haul. Um, we still have a lot of crap to show you. So <laughs> uh, this is a mixture of stuff. I think so far in part one, we've showed a lot of stuff from the bins. This is a mixture of the bins and um, regular Goodwills. Goodwills, mainly Goodwills. We yeah, have others. Really, there was some Salvation Army stuff too. But all the stuff we found just by thrifting. Okay, these are J. Jill. This is the line Love Linen, which I do recommend. Um, these are a size medium. These are a pair of women's um, like wide leg tan pants, linen pants with pockets. Linen does well during this time of the year. Does need a good steam, but in otherwise great condition. Um, J. Jill is a pretty tried and true brand for us. We don't pick up everything, but like a lot of stuff by them does pretty well. Um, quick flips and all those do add up. We expect this to sell for about $25. One of my favorite brands to find all the time is Lucky Brand, whether it's tops or pants. Um, we always try to pick out the more unique things. So we got this one, um, one because of kind of the crochet look here. Um, also because it is crocheted all down the back as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's like a racer back tank. It will retail for about $20. Um, and it's also a really pretty print too, very summery, so. Okay, next up is a pair of Athleta leggings, size medium. You can see it's got that like uh, heathered space dye look. These are like a black and a gray. Um, really great condition. These seem like an ankle crop kind of legging. Now the thing with Athleta is you can look up the exact style number, which I don't think we've done yet. Um, but without looking up that style number, kind of expect these to go for about 25 to 30. And so the style number is on this little tag underneath. And you'll find that's true for quite a few brands. Like I think of like the North Face and Nike. They all have this tiny little tag underneath. That's where you're going to find the style number. Um, just because that makes it really easy to kind of nail down. So I always go to Google and I immediately go to images and I search images because then I can match the exact item and then I kind of click into some of those and see what the descriptions are and then flip back over to eBay and do comps like that and it kind of helps narrow them down a little bit more and get a real true to detail. I icon. actually have a very old video. Not old, old, but like back when I wasn't so confident on filming. I have a how to look up style number video and how to look up RN number. So I'll link that above if you are not confident on how to um, look up style numbers. I talk kind of slow on it. It's not as entertaining, but the information <laughs> is there. So I will link it above. That is huge too. So for me, like being newer, obviously Kaylee can kind of walk in and be like, oh, I know this brand. I know this brand. I know this brand. I don't necessarily... Um, and so when I started, like I picked up a lot of things, let's be honest, I probably shouldn't have and like kind of had to figure it out as I go, you know? Um, but now knowing that style number, I can actually look up the exact item in eBay and know that what I'm getting is more consistent. And you can definitely see the difference when I started, like I hardly honestly ever saw things I was going like picking up, going out super quickly. Like we'd sell them, but like it may take a little bit longer. Now we're literally selling items that we're listing the day before. So it shows mm -hmm. how tried and true those brands are. So um, this here is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren denim piece. It is actually a um, hundred percent linen, which as Kaylee said, does really, really well, especially this time of year. Um, so we always look to comp items like this. Um, anytime we can find something linen, a lot of times I just run through shirts or pants and feel for the linen things and pick them out and see if we can check those. Um, this one will comp for about $30 for this button up shirt. That was a 1X too, wasn't it? Yes. Yep, I believe. Yes. Whoop, 1X. So a larger size too. It may honestly even be able to go up a little bit higher than that, knowing that it's a 1X since there's more fabric to it. Um, sometimes you can price this just a little bit higher, so... Lauren, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, all of its lines, guys. Check into that. A lot of people pass on that brand, but do specific comps when you come across it because there are more pieces than you would expect that bring good money. This is Lucky Brand. We showed a pair of these, same size, size 6, in the last uh, thrift haul. It's the Avis Skinny, and we expect this to sell for about $25. These ones are like a more of a darker blue wash with some whiskering. Skinny. Whispering? Whiskering? What's whispering? The like white, like this. Hmm. Fun fact, I learned a new word. 
So this is a made well um, shirt. So we were just talking about searching up style names. Um, you could search this as just like a made well quarter button up women's blouse or woman's shirt. Um, but finding those, there's like thousands of them. So I actually came in and searched whoop, this style number right here, the 08. 787 seven. um and it popped up with a madewell beloved slip on or slip over slip on blouse so i actually searched it on ebay as the beloved madewell blouse and found out that it actually does comp for 25 dollars um whereas a lot of the other just like quarter button ups were only running for like 15 to 20 um so we'll end up getting an extra five dollars out of this just because we searched that style name okay i'm moving in those like I mentioned last video, we've got these in stacks of similar items. So that was like a lot of women's pieces. Um, there's a doggy. Oh, you yeah, so cute. Oh my God, that's cute. <laughs> okay, so moving on to some of the men's pieces. I did want to say in this video that we, for the last probably just about a week, have started when we go into a thrift store, we go directly to the men's section now first and pretty thoroughly go through that. Um, I personally, I love selling men's stuff mainly because there's not that emotional attachment. Like I can, I can do comps and not go, oh, but it's so cute. Like I should just go ahead and get it. Like I'm sure somebody's going to want this. Like with men's stuff, since I don't wear men's clothing, I find it easier to not have that emotional attachment. Plus men's clothing, like the style names usually there, there's not as many variations as women's. And the men's stuff compared to the women's stuff within the same brand tends to sell for more and tends to sell quicker. It usually has a higher sell through rate. So for all of those reasons, we have started going through the men's section and I really enjoy it. Maybe someday we might be majority men's pieces, but um, for right now we're just kind of dabbling in it. But we have found some like really great stuff. Yeah, and we were talking about it earlier as well. Like, it, there's less returns as well because mm -hmm. most of the men's things, if you buy a pair of shorts that are size 32, most men's shorts that are size mm -hmm. 32 are going to fit the same. Whereas women's sizes vary so much based on hip fits, based on butt fits, based on length, um, that there's a lot of things that would end up getting returned just because they don't fit great. Um, and it's kind of hard when you can't try those on, but men's you don't see very much in, so... Yeah, what's that about? Why can't ours be that easy to show up? I don't know. It's also, okay, last fact about sourcing <laughs> for men's, then we'll move on. But the men's section at the thrift store is so much smaller mm -hmm. that it is so much easier to go through, too. So, like, you can get in and out of there and do the entire section and be done. Whereas, like, the women's, I feel like I could spend all day looking through the women's stuff. So, yeah. okay. This with all that being said, is Polo by Ralph Lauren. These are an older label. These are called the Prospect Short 100% Cotton. Do we have a size? We do. Yeah, there's a, yep. Size 42, so pretty decent size. Um, these are like a faded black wash chino short. We expect these to sell for about $25. So this is a Torrid Women's Floral Tank. It's V-necked. I really like this. Every time I look at it, I kind of debate if I want to snatch it out of here. But I need to not because where am I going to go other than here? Um, it is brand new with tags. That always makes my heart so happy. Um, it's got these super cute buttons on the back too. Also comes with an extra button just in case you pop the button. Um, and it will comp for about $30, um, which is about a $10 discount from what it would have been buying it new. I love picking up Torrid stuff. I don't know if it's because I like wearing Torrid stuff. And I just think it's super cute, but like the resale on those is so great. So we always pick those up. This is just a pair of men's Columbia pants. These are really nice. These definitely feel like barely worn. Size 38 by 32. These are Omni Shield, um, which is just like, I think the technology in the fabric. Mm -hmm. We expect these to sell for about $25 and probably move pretty quickly. I haven't ever in the men's um, category had trouble moving men's hiking pants. 
a women's piranha t-shirt. Um, we actually have two. This one's more of like um, a florally, I don't know, I want to say it kind of reminds me of rocks. I don't know why, but that's what I want to say. Um, but it's actually really pretty as well. And it will comp for about $25 or just under $25. Uh, we actually, I guess I have two of these. Um, which you guys will see here in a little bit. I have two of something. I'm just going to go ahead and show both of these at the same one. time. Yeah. So these are a pair of vintage Everlast. New with tags. Sized large. Very hammer time style pants. These are I called, I called these like a snake skin and those I said were geometric, but. Yeah, these are like a tribal, but they kind of like taper a little bit at the bottom. Um, so I looked up, the way I comped these is I just looked up Everlast Men's Vintage Pants. Um, and they were doing pretty well. These have pockets too, by the way. They're both new with tags, right? No, that one is new with tags. Okay. This one is not. Okay. Um, we expect both of these to sell hopefully for about $60 each. Maybe give or take, depending on the the print, the new tags and all that, but yeah. they were doing like really well, surprisingly. I just knew because of how wacky they looked that they would probably be sought after. So there was one that was super similar online. Like, like I said, I called this kind of snakeskin. Um, it was more of like an animal print as well. It was not new with tags and it was comping for about $60. So I think we'll probably be able to get a little bit more for the tribal ones, but we'll have to kind of wait and see. So this is an anthropology piece or um, a collab or an under anthropology piece. It is called Tiny, which I would have not known except Kaylee picked it up and said, look how cool. It's like a Japanese koi pond um, shirt. I don't know if you can see the fish, but like it's so pretty um, and it is embroidered on the front. I did do a comp on this today and found the exact same shirt, um, exact same. And it ended up selling for $25. So we'll probably try about the same for this one as well. This is probably my favorite men's brand of jeans to sell. These are BKE, which is sold at Buckle. These are the Tyler jeans. You can pretty much almost guarantee if you find men's BKE jeans, you should just go ahead and pick them up if they're the right price for you. Because um, they sell anywhere from like 30 all the way up to like $60 depending on what you have. Um, Tyler is a pretty good style, but the sell-through rate on these jeans is like amazing. Mm -hmm. These are a size 36 XL, which I believe means extra long, like inseam. I've never actually seen that. I've seen L, but I've not seen XL. So we'll make sure and do measurements. Um, I don't know if that will add or decrease value, but we expect the Tyler style to sell for about $35. And they've got some pretty good stitching on the back. Back to my homegirl, Torrid, because I love her. Um, another Torrid floral V-neck shirt. Um, it does have some kind of flow to the bottom, which is nice. A little bit longer in the back, which Torrid is known for. Again, a super pretty top. Um, and it will retail for about $25. Okay, these are a pair of men's Banana Republic jeans. And these are the style Slim Tech Motion which I think again is just part of the fabric technology. These are men's size 36 by 32 if you're interested. They're a like stone wash gray. And this particular style, the Slim Tech Motion, had a pretty decent sell through rate. We expect them to go for about $28. We got another Lucky Brand shirt here. Um, this one is button up down the front here. Um, it also has some really cool prints to it as well. Um, like I said, we do try to pick up more of the unique pieces in these, not just everything. Um, it does have a cinch sleeve as well. Um, and this will retail or sell for about $20. Last item of this haul before I move into the next one. We actually found, I listed one of them already, but we actually found two of these. And they were not at the same thrift store. Well, we, we found one. We found three, but one of them was completely damaged. Um, but this exact style is Lululemon ABC pants. I think, I think there's something about, anyways, they're called the ABC pant. And we found that out by looking at the size Classic warp stream, warp stream. That's what it was warp stream pants. And we found that style out 
by looking for the size dot. So these are size 36. See all those letters and numbers around that? You can actually look up part of that code string and find the style name. So that's what we did. And we found that these pre-owned were going for about $50. These are in immaculate condition. I don't know why they didn't price these up because the logo's here, the tag is still on them. They're clearly um, Lululemon and they're real. And these are like hardly worn, really nice men's pants. Um, so again, we're pricing these for about $50. So if you can't tell, we still have lots to go today. So yes. on to the next. <laughs> so join us in the next thrift haul. That'll then be part three of a million. <laughs> and we'll see how long we can go today with thrift hauls. We have some other stuff to do, but we did want to make thrift hauls of all this amazing stuff we've been getting. Um, if you're not already shopping in the men's section, make sure to do that because lots of great stuff in there that a lot of people pass on. And we were kind of debating the other day, like, a lot of resellers are women and they only feel comfortable shopping in the women's department. So usually the men's, although I do know that there's male resellers, usually that area is less picked over for us is what I was getting at. And it's not as busy. There's not as many people right. shopping in those sections as what there are in the other right. sections. Okay, so that's it for today's haul. Join us in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the following thrift haul.